to the river bend Take me down to the fighting end Watch the poison from off my skin Show me how to be hurt again Blow me up on a silver wing Pass the blood that a siren
think the uh, the moves is uh, rubbing off me because even though I'm on time for a stream, I still didn't show up on time. <laughs> but you know, I still have to set that shit up. Anyways, uh, anybody in chat right now? Because I don't see anybody going on in the live chat. I gotta fix the fucking gain on my microphone a little bit. Been a while since I fucking did this shit. If not, I'll just have the freaking channel on my phone off to the side. Just so I can see live chat. I don't see it showing up for me. Top chat participants. I see some love in there, but I don't see chat. Alright, I think YouTube Studio is just being fucking stupid. But. It, uh. You know, we're, we're always running out of it is what it is, so. About six of you guys in here so far. If you got anybody you want to send the stream to. Cross the Frylock, the man Myrtle. the fuck up, Mike. <laughs> I just hope that's loud enough. Oh, God. Ugh. Fucking stream audio. Let me see here. I've been waiting for this moment. Shut the fuck up, Harry. You're British. You'll never be able to hear that joke. I think Mike knows the one that I'm talking about. The British are invading. Oh god! <laughs> I mean, we got six people in here so far. I don't know if anybody, uh... Oh, I have the decibel system backwards. Okay. Because I redid my whole freaking, uh... My setup. So, uh, now we're looking very very different so that way I have more space so that way I can actually have a proper stream set up and I can show off my old background because I don't have a green screen like Michael because I don't make that YouTube money I'm so down revolution oh my god I also have berries and cream uh RC Cola it's fucking amazing I love it Oh, yeah, by the way, if you, guys, if you guys don't know, um, Mountain Dew, ah, 20th anniversary, it's going to be available all year round, so, really wish, uh, they drop Chase Elliott or William Clyde and give me, uh, give me that sponsorship money for Baja, bro, you know how much fucking Baja I drink, let alone Mountain Dew in general? I am the Mountain Dew general. Fuck yourself. But, let's fucking do this. Let's get down to business. Yes, it is I. And my ugly fucking mug. What's going on, everybody? It is the Angry Irishman, or as you guys prefer to know me as Ed. We're doing something very, very, very special tonight. For a good friend of mine, one of the... Dude, dude, Boogie Two Nine Nine Eight's a fucking internet lockout, bro. He's not popular anymore. He's a fucking joke. <laughs> Anyways, so what's the deal with this last year? Well, I feel I I'd be getting bored, so I feel like I might as well get back into streaming. You know, I do this for fun, so I figured you know might as well. Of course, we have the trademark helmet, and we got my pit bull and a couple of die casts up there in the back because you know this is a NASCAR stream. I have to. Because, you know, I'm a NASCAR boy and I'm a Fallout boy, so. <laughs> Not that big on the band, but the game, I got shit planned for that. As you saw from the uh, the thumbnail that I actually had, um, I actually made this. Let me uh, fix my screen a little bit. I actually made this screenshot in-game. Um, that is a... That's actually one of the rifles from Warhammer, believe it or not, so... 
Yep, your boy Ed does fall for at work, so if you ever want something commissioned, let me know. I don't care if uh, I do it for free or not, I do it for fun. So, what are we doing tonight? Well, uh, for those of you who uh, don't know about Marines Club, remember to join Marines Club and tell all your friends about Marines Club, because if you don't, Jim will find you, he'll kick your ass. Thank you all, welcome to Marines Club. I did that for my buddy Michael. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit inspirational for him tonight. It's going to be a little bit of a long live stream. I want to try and get started as soon as possible and not waste any time. Um, he does this joke series called Full Man NASCAR where he plays F1 2022. And he has a mod where the DRS trains freaking make drafting easy. What he does is he takes all these IRL drivers, he gives them all sorts of fucking nicknames. There's an entire freaking moves verse, freaking Dale being Redneck Jesus. He Listen, if you guys don't know who Michael Murns is, go give him some love. This guy fucking deserves it. He's somewhat become a good friend. I don't talk to him that often at the moment because I know he's busy and I know NASCAR is right around the corner, but the 500 got fucking got rained out. Xfinity got pushed back to Monday. The 500 got pushed back to fucking Tuesday. So we're going to be waiting a little bit, but I got to work Monday, so I don't give a fuck. And I'm waiting back on my job offer. I had an interview today down in Delhi. Um, because money is not good right now with bills and shit. Anyways, where was I with this? Oh yeah, so, I'm always bugging him, why not do the older games? Why did you start with these random series with Ignish, or 21 Ignition, which was a dog shit fucking NASCAR game, by the way. Um, you know, there's a new mod for NASCAR D Evolution called D Evolution, and he just restarted another, what's your thing? You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> fuck up my, my stream, I don't give a shit. Uh, he, he started all these millions of fucking playthroughs, so like, he, he has this weird obsession with Jimmy Johnson, and I was talking about with him last year when I first talked to him, it's like, are you gonna go back and do the Goldie Gold games, then come back to the freaking Heat series, or are you gonna go right to the Heat series? He went right to the Heat series, and this is in the chat, shut up, no. Shut up, you brat. <laughs> so, in honor of him, I figured the first race I'd live stream it, and then I'm going to make this a regular series that I'm going to regularly upload, but the first race is special. We got the 500 around the corner, so let's do the fucking Daytona 500 tonight. Only we're going back in time. Gonna go back in time. Morty! Stop fucking your mother, Morty! You gotta get back to the future, Morty! <laughs> We're going with a very old game. Hope you guys like the background. I had a picture of somebody there, but I had to replace it because I don't want you guys looking at it. Personal stuff. We're gonna do something very special. Uh, I do have I do have an emulator, so I figured why the fuck not. PlayStation Two, motherfuckers. That's right. We're going old school with this shit. Back in the day, basically. Shut the fuck up, Mike. <laughs> what, wait, you think you're a boomer? The God tier NASCAR game. And we have to hurry, 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 because copyright, 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 copyright. I don't even like Power Man 5000. I'm a rancid guy. God, when I got my PC instantly down on this thing. Maddie, Good to see you, buddy. How you been? I haven't spoken to you in a while because you're not acting on Discord, you little shit. <laughs> but, yes, we are doing NASCAR Thunder 2004 Career Mode. The actual career mode. We're not doing the season bullshit. I might have a separate series I might do for that. But no, we are doing an actual series. So, but before we get into that, I have to, since this is a uh, moves related, shut the fuck up, Mike. This is a moves related uh, live stream. There's something that we need to do first. Um, this is a cheat code car. To unlock everything. Um, 
Yeah, I'll tell you later on Discord how I'm actually doing that. The one thing we have to do is that there's driver nicknames, right? In the Moobsverse, all the drivers have nicknames. Mike knows what I'm talking about, but the rest of you guys watching that aren't a part of uh, Moons Club, you wouldn't know about the nicknames. So these are the official nicknames for the NASCAR Thunder 2004 roster in said career mode that we are going to be doing. So hopefully one day, whenever Mike decides to start streaming this crap and actually do a proper freaking playthrough and go back to NR 2003 or NT 2003 and get Jimmy that rookie of the year that Newman stole from him, hey, you know what? Michael, if you're watching, just remember that photo I sent you. Just remember that photo I sent you. It ain't about Danny Hamlin being your favorite driver, because I helped Ashton Lewis beat yours at Atlanta. In Kevin LePage's car. I still got the, that one on you. Anyways, so let's get into the driver nicknames. Jack Sprague, he will be forever known as Jack Sparrow. Jeff Green will be, uh... We're just going to call him, uh... Fuck, I have... Jolly Green Giant. We're just going to call him Jolly Green Giant. Jerry Nadu is uh, Jerry Ragu, even though there's already a David Ragu. Uh, Hermie San uh, Sadler is going to be Herpes Sandals, because his brother is Elliot Sandals already. So Herpes Sandals is going to be Hermie's nickname. We have Krusty Walrus. We have the Skinner Brothers. Of course he's watching me. The, the Skinner Bros, which is a Red Dead Redemption 2 reference to the uh, epilogue. Spoilers, if you never played that. Great fucking game. It's going to make you cry. It made me cry. Uh, Texas Iceman Terry. We have Grandpa Martin. We got Redneck Jesus. We got Billiam Clyde. We have Johnny Bravo. We got uh, Barrett 50 Cal. Because I couldn't think of a clever nickname for Brent Bodine. We have Elton John. We have Mikey Walnuts, the Bug Eyed Dummy, which was a nickname that Sterling Marlin called him, believe it or not. We got Kianziff. We got Booby Labane. We got Jeremy Mayflower. We have Tony the Tiger. We got Ricky Crud. We got Warped Bunions. We have Kenny Walrus. We have Jeff Gordon Ramsay. We have Joe Nematode. We have Steve Harvey. We got Stroll in the Park. We got Robbie Rotten. We got Icky Craven, Elliot Sandals, Cuckoo Jr., Casey Smears, McDouche, McDouche. We're, we're just going to call him Juan Pablo Montoya Sr., her jet dry Montoya Sr., because how, how can you think of a nickname for Fittibaldi? Nobody remembers him. I remember him, do you? Anyways, we have Tom Petty, we got Jim I. We got, uh, They Killed Kenny. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to make that a South Park reference, because that versus Logano. Dude, this is 2003 roster on, on, on a 2004 game. No one, fuck Logano. Fuck Giggles. No one likes Giggles. So, yeah, he's going to be uh, Kenny McCormick, or You Killed Kenny. We have LePage the Field. We got, uh... Does Dale, Dale Jarrett even have a nickname? And then moves first. I don't think Michael came over the midlane for that yet. I gotta ask him. So we're just gonna call him DJ. Or Ned Jr. I, I don't know. We have Old Man Bushy. And then finally, for the cup roster, we have that douchebag who didn't give Michael Murtz an autograph back in 2008. So, yeah. But, I always call him Crashton <laughs> Okay, Matt, if uh, Michael ever goes back to this game, I gotta, I gotta let him know that. I'll, I'll have him give you credit. Actually, fun fact, Matt, uh, Michael's actually very good friends with uh, IDK player, believe it or not, in the NASCAR community, so I still remember that GTA stream that you, me, him, and Joey did. Alright, so, and, wait a minute, something's missing. Oh, I went to profile 4. It's not on my main profile. Okay, there we go. I got that fixed, so we're going to have the paint schemes. But there's also a couple of uh, Bush Series uh, drivers that were field filler starting park cars. 
that would take over Cub Drivers as they retired. And of course we already have uh, Horny, we have Vicks Vapor Rub, Redneck Jesus in his uh, Bush car. We have uh, that douchebag man give Michael Merchant an autograph back in 2008 in his 9 car. We have uh, Gibbe's father. I can't think of a nickname for Mike Plus. But Kevin Grubb, you're going to see him in the field. Or um, Grab the Grub. It's a child reference if you never watched that as a kid. We got uh, Chase Bank. We have uh, John Green Giant 2 Electric Boogaloo. We have Ashton Luge, who beat your favorite driver, Michael. And then we have Barrett 50 Cal. This, this is the one I came up with the 50 Cal name for. I love that Autobahn car. I don't know why. But other than that, those are all the cars that you are going to be seeing in this playthrough. Whether I decide to upload it as a regular video or do live streams for it, I don't know yet. But it's time to get into the career mode settings. We're doing... 50% races, so that means the Daytona 500 here is going to be 100 laps. It's going to be like an hour and a half, two hour race at best. This is not not the right file. This is my private playthrough that I do for testing purposes because I have a Panache file, so I have unlimited fuel and tires. If we go down to Career 2, There he is, boys. Dom DeLuise Alessio Delata for Moobs Motorsport. Driving the number 119 Monte Carlo Chevrolet. Sponsored by Craftsman, Easy Care, Wincraft, and I think either Hill Brothers or Nikon. I'm not sure. But anyways, so in the Moobsverse, he is a huge Hendrick fan because he's a Jim and Jim, uh, Jim I fan. So, Moobs Motorsport is going to be a Hendrick back team, just like uh, CNC Haas was with Jack Sprague and Jeff Green. You know, if you guys don't remember the number 66 Best Buy, you have no childhood. So, we're going to be a Hendrick owned operation, but we will still operate as Moobs Motorsport. We also have some goals that we have to get done. Um, let me just bring up the text file if I can find it. I have it somewhere around here. Because there's a bunch of goals that we have that we need to do. Okay, no, I don't need you guys seeing my freaking hentai collection. God damn it. JC, glad you can make it. What's going on? Clickbaited into thinking you were playing the PC version. No, dude, that's just freaking NR2003 with like less features. What the fuck are you talking about? I used to play the NR2000, uh, the PC version, back when I was in middle school. Um, the local library had it, and we, I would, uh, I would take it out and play it in class when I got the chance. Uh, documents. There they are. All right. So these are the primary objectives that we are going to have for Dom DeLuise. So, by Season 3, we at least want to win a championship. Season 1 and 2 is going to be very hard, because we're still going to be rising from the ground up. So, that's why Season 3 is in parentheses there. Seasons 1 and 2, which is this season and next season, we're going to freaking go on as long as we can with this series. Um, championship contender by at, le at least, you know, towards like the last 10 races. Because the chase does not exist in this game. The chase wasn't, um brought in until 2004. So this is a 2003 roster that we're going off of. So it's all the mechanics from 2003, which means you race back to the line. There's no chase format. You just win, get points in the end, and then whoever's the most points is the champion. That's the end of it. So those are the two primary goals. And from the looks of things, the way the contract system works, if we're able to get signed on to a big team, we want to get signed on with Hendrick, we want to get signed on with uh, Joe Gibbs Racing, MB2 Motorsports, so hopefully we take either Johnny Bravo's or Jerry uh, Nate, uh, Ragu's car, or at least a hiring team with more than five paint schemes, because they packed a fuck ton of paint schemes into this game. I mean a fuck ton. So, and of course, you know, us being Moves Motorsport, we have to get allied with all the Hendrick cars. I want to get allied with the back markers, because I actually like the back markers, you know, the 27, the 37, the 46, 57, all those guys. 
and uh, the Labonte brothers, because my dad is a huge Bobby Labonte fan, let alone, you know, Labonte brothers fans. So I do that for him just to be nice. Um, get signed on to either drive the 4 or the 28. Now, the 48 is more likely than the 24. The 24 is a crapshoot. You're more likely to get signed on with either the 5 or the 48 if you actually get signed on uh, with an offer from Hendrix. So that's how this game works. So, the primary objectives for sponsorships. Get Craftsman, Dodge, Coke, and NASCAR.com or 76 as a primary sponsor. Jerry doesn't retire for a while. Since the Mets and 72 might be... Well, I mean, MB2... Um, I know Joe Nematode, he went into the, uh, he went to the 01, and then they had Scott Riggs come on and drive the 10 when Benson left, because Benson wasn't driving the 10 in NASCAR Thunder 2005, so, and then Nikon, but that's more for, uh, for Radman, we're gonna do that for um, have Dom break the seven-time champ record. So we're going to have Dom DeLuise try to get up there with Petty, Earnhardt, and Jim Knight. We're going for that record. We're going for the record. And, of course, have Dom become rivals with the 20, the 31, and the 42. McDouche is the primary target for obvious reasons, because this is a Moogs Motorsport-related playthrough. So we had to honor Michael... We gotta freaking wreck it McDouche as much as possible. Robbie Rotten because he's such a freaking asshole to begin with. And Tony the Tiger because, well, fuck you, Mike. Anyways. Uh, become allies with the fantasy drivers. There's something about the fantasy drivers that I always like, so we're gonna try to become allies with them as much as possible. The bush drivers, of course, a lot of the back markers that I've listed off earlier that you saw that were labeled in blue on the Race Now section. Become allies with them, especially. Become allies with Joe Moore and Barney Hall. Because why not? MRN, they were the best commentators out there. Gain an offer from a Bush livery. So that was uh, the also, again, the paint schemes for cars and drivers that were in blue in the Race Now section. The standard cup drivers are always in red. So the blue guys for Bush Series, obviously, are Grand National because you can't sponsor alcohol. Yeah, that's what freaking reskin mods are for, you fucking bastards. Why is my favorite? Don't you start any? I will. I have already started. I have already started. But I am an astartes. <laughs> Anyways, but this is. These are the secondary objectives. Uh, remember to join Runes Club today and tell your friends about Runes Club because if you don't, Jemai will find you. He will kick your ass, Jemai. Thank you and welcome all the Runes Club. Michael, you better be fine. Someone go get freaking Michael. I want to see this shit. <laughs> Ally with Cl Kevin Grubb. Because it's a What If tribute, because I know What If, he did a Fantasy Track Series season with Kevin Grubb, rest in peace. He died back in 2007. Or should I say Nectarine Boy, a Bully Darian, because yes, that bastard. And Chase Briscoe is mid, because shut the hell up, Clavel. Shut up, Clavel. Anyways, so. Now... The thing is with this, I put it on rookie difficulty. Let me explain why I didn't go for legendary, because legendary is already tough as it is. But this is the rookie season on season one and two. I'm running no assists. Pocono, Martinsville, Bristol are my three worst tracks in this game. We got a lot riding on this, and we're riding with crap wagons right now. This is a fresh freaking file that I have not started yet. I wish I went farther into the career. Let's see. It, it happens, man. Um, so, it's already bad enough. Like, we already got shitty cars to begin with, and we're not going to be able to become a chase contender by season one. I just put that as, like, a bonus. Like, if we're actually able to at least get, like, a top ten in points. It's going to be tough. Driving rookie difficulty... With crap cars. No assists. Even with assists. It's gonna suck. So bear with me. I had to put a handicap on here. But we're gonna ride this series out as much as we can. And before anybody asks, are you gonna ask anybody to subscribe? No, because I'm not a freaking YouTube sellout freaking clickbait whore. Alright? You wanna go enjoy your freaking content farms? Go watch Kokomo, you little bitch. Anyways. Enough blabbering about... It is now 7.25 Eastern Standard Time. We got about an hour and a half to kill. We're going with chassis setup 1. Car rating of 52, so we're 
like I said, we're in the shit right now. You guys ready for some racing? It's Daytona 500 weekend after all. What a way to start off the NASCAR season, boys. Anyways, um, let me pick my OBS real quick. There we go. Alright. And we're going to qualify. God, kill me now. Stream's going to be a little bit laggy, so please forgive me. It's not me, it's my hardware, because I have not got my PC repaired. I haven't been able to. So you know what, here's what we are going to do. We are going to close out Opera GX. The stream is still running. Fixed it a little bit, but whatever. Because like I said, I'm running no assist, so the handling is going to be ass on this. It's obviously going to be 43rd. Without any assist, the best I can get is maybe a... Uh, I can at least get a 23rd. If I get a 23rd, you know what, fine, I don't care. I have to keep the draft, though. As long as I stay in the draft, I'm fine, but share drafting is a little bit of an issue because I have to upgrade the... Uh, what do I got to upgrade? I got to upgrade the... Um, the body in the, uh, the garage shop when I get the chance. That's probably the first upgrade that we're going to go with because drafting is literally your bestest goddamn friend in this game. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. I tried to, you know, smooth everything out so like the stream wasn't, you know, a little too laggy, but eh. It's funny, because I can run Fallout 4, like, no problem with no lag, but there's always some issues with fucking, uh, PSSC2 for some reason. So we got Provisional, and 43rd, so we have failed a sponsor objective, so we're not going to get the money for that. So, we're going to take our bets, we might as well do the fucking 125, so that's going to eat up like a half hour of the stream. Let's just, let's just do this. Oh, there's Bobby. I did have cheats on, but I took them off, so... You can probably hear the audio. Like, it's it's laggy. But, considering one of our objectives has become a rival with McDouche, he's, he always wins rookie, rookie of the Year. But if you get Rookie of the Year, that's bonus money that we can use for Season 2. Cheese grater. No, cheese grater better than Kenny McCormick. That works better. So, seasons one and two, you're going to have to draft a lot. That's basically your best Scotty in front at this point. Or else you're not going to be able to get like any decent starts or finishes. I do, I do notice, though, like, when the software tends to lag a little bit. Once the cars get spaced out... 
say like if you go to oh Rockingham or Atlanta, once the cars are spaced out, it goes away. Now for me, it's running the quality is shit. It's like 480, but for you guys, it's like 720. So that's why it looks so nice for you guys right now. And it's also harder to control the car from the lag. Come on. So once I get the money and I get my main rig fixed, what difficulty? Um, I put it to rookie because the first two seasons are going to suck. And one of the objectives is to, you know, be a champion by at least Season 3. At least Season 3. And Dale Jarrett blew up. Oh my god, dude. I mean, yeah, we qualified 43rd, but hopefully we can improve on that. But I also took my cheats off, so we're not running a lemon fuel and tires, because I have what they call a file that I got from gamehack, uh, gamehacking.org. So I turned my cheats off and I ran the game in full, so that way, you know, we actually have fuel and tire wear. So we can actually make this a real challenge, you know, make it like a real NASCAR season. Uh, Jolly Green Giant, piss off. I think, yeah, David Green, he's going to be Jolly Green Giant 2 Electric Boogaloo. I gotta type everything out for Michael eventually. Although I will tell you, a lot of the files that I played on this game, I've gotten signed on to drive Kenny Wallace's car a lot when he retires. Bill Davis Racing, Stacker 2, they pay out the ass. And boy, oh boy, did I have some good seasons with them. So right now, we're in 23rd, which would make us 24th. Uh, no, we're not 23rd, we're 11th, which would make us 24th, because, you know, front row always starts in the front row, regardless, so... I wonder how Dom's had like in the car. I can't be screaming because of, you know, family. Or I'd not be screaming my head off. Problem is, I can't. I, to to, to do, do the Dom DeLuise voice, I gotta be loud. So I can't be loud. Loud and. Jolly Green Giant really wants to fight for fucking. Top 10. Well, you know what? You should not talk shit about Richard Shoulders. Then you wouldn't have been put in the one car and sucked. Steve Park did better than you when he was put in the 30 anyway. I feel bad for Steve Park's career, man. I really do. Are the British still invading chat or no? I've never been to Chili's. I should go. Although, 
Stuff like Chipotle, Chili's, Moe's. I'm not big on those kinds of places. If it gets quiet, I'm concentrating. And forget about gas can water, get a big gold cup. Whenever I buy two liters, I save this cup and I fill it up, I'm ready to go. <laughs> gas can water? Yeah, go get one then. My god, Jolly Green Giant, piss off. He really is trying my patience. Can't do a good medic voice anymore. What's the ability to do that, unfortunately? I got old man Bush, he's holding up Johnny Bravo. Yeah, right, now we're getting some speed. Oh, God. Oh, no, you passed below the old line. Gotta get the stop back. Fuck you. I ain't having that shit. Although, thinking to myself, this is Dom DeLuise we're talking about for Moves Motorsport. He's gonna have more rivals than allies. Uh, logically, that that's the case. That would happen. You guys knew about the lore. The lore! Although we start at the tail end, we're actually not doing that bad. I mean, we're up to like an 18th now. Just gotta keep the draft with Old Man Bushy here, and then we should be okay. Where's my wise man at, anyway? It's weird, like... I feel so bad for Old Man Bushy because they're always going off about how these new car models just like, oh, well, we gotta make them safe first so the drivers don't get hurt. Alex Bowen has a mile tap at the wall, and he gets a concussion from the car. Old Man Bushy has an accident and he has to retire. Ryan Newman, when he was freaking doing those fill-in races for freaking uh, Rick Ware... He was complaining about the freaking how tight the car was, how stiff it was, but not not the car setup, like the actual car itself, like the interior. I felt so bad for them, like... You want to make everything safer, but like, people are getting hurt more and more. The only injury that we actually had was freaking Redneck Jesus, but that's because he his car blew up in Finion in that one freaking Pro-Am race or whatever. I mean... NASCAR's off their fucking rocker. It's a, it's a gimmick at this point. It's like freaking WWE. They want to predetermine everything. PC friendly, uh, driver safety, uh, safety, safety wall. Shut the fuck up. Mike Jordan needs to fucking retire.
Eh, yeah, but we're gaining on Billy and Clyde right now, so... Come on. Don't lose that draft. Don't lose that draft. Come on, old man Bush. You don't leave me high and dry. Come on. Who's got the lead right now, though? That's what I want to know. Redneck Jesus and Mikey Walnuts. Why wouldn't they? We're gonna be here a while, folks. Grab some drinks, grab some popcorn. Go take a shit if you have to now, because you ain't taking one later. <laughs> How's the stream going? Audio, quality, everything's looking good, guys. Thank you, Matt. Because for me, well, the game for me looks like ass. I'm looking on OBS right now. Everything looks very nice and clean. So. That's because I have, the, I have it set up to save resources, so it tries to help it not be, like, a little bit laggy or disordered, but there's only so much you can do. Old man Bushy, what are you doing? We're at halfway. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, Kurt. We have the draft. Let's go get it back. Let's fall back in line. What I need to do is I need to do a playthrough of uh, Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door. Those are my favorite fucking games growing up on GameCube. I've been, doing, I've been playing a lot of uh, Double Dash recently, actually. <laughs> on Dolphin. <laughs> I forgot how much fun I had in that game. As soon as I unlocked freaking Toad, and I got the Toad cart. Got Paper Mario as the driver, Toad as the passenger. God tier setup. The goat setup. Oh my god, pick a line, Kurt. If you guys got anybody who wants to uh, come in and watch the stream or, you know, bullshit around, feel free to invite them to get more people in here. What's nice though is I have a texture pack for uh, Thunder 03 on Dolphin. But Thunder 03, the car hidden one, I don't like it. I don't like it. Put full assist on, the car doesn't control properly. You put on limited, doesn't control properly. You put on no assist, well then you're fucked. It's the one thing I don't like about Thunder 03. Is the handling. The physics are, the physics are amazing. 
I mean, I feel I feel like Thunder Road Three was like the Thunder Road Four beta, but whatever EA did between O three and O four, they did beautifully. Now, if they could just get the car handling right, Thunder Road Three would be top tier like Thunder Road Four. But the, the the cars in Thunder Road Three they remind me of like the cars from uh, Ignish. The handling on them. Horrible. Fucking horrible. Well, the field's way too separated, so it looks like we're going to be stuck with an 18th at this point. Actually, wait, no. I qualified 43rd. That's odd. That's inside row. Hmm. So if I finish 8th, that puts me in either 17th or 19th, I want to say. I don't remember off the top of my head. I think sometime in the future I want to do a live stream where like I have a million different fucking cups in my room. Like I have a bottle and then I have a coffee mug and then I have a red cup and then I have a bucket. That's a that's a senior payload gag. If uh if you guys watch Glitch Productions or SMG4, there was a there's a live stream that they did with a bunch of creators. They had the creator husband hotel on there with Senior Palo. And Palo, he just had like a million different things he was drinking out of, like he kept swishing like every five minutes. It was fucking hilarious. I don't want to do that. Just like subtle what the fuck comedy. You, uh, you know you want to see my hentai collection? Shut up, dear furry! I had to. I put some comedy in there. It's like, hey, Ed, do you support furries? Yeah, I support furries. Furry genocide. Such a fucking asshole. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you're being offensive. Shut up. I have no filter. Of course, we got jo got Johnny Bravo, Booby Labane, and Krusty Walrus behind us. Oh god. You know what? I'm gonna let Bravo go. Booby, you can go top side on the outside line. Cause he he's fast here in Atlanta. Oh, he's got the Frankenstein car. I think my dad has like three different sizes of those diecast. Forgot that was in this game. Wait, was it Frankenstein or was it the Monsters car? Cause I think he had a Monsters car. Now, give me room. Give me room. Let him cook. Uh, Kurchi, if you have an aneurysm right now, 
Her spottery have an aneurysm right now. You seem to be slurring a bit. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, booby, let me draft. Take a lane. Take a lane. Alright, well, I just lost the draft because I went below the apron. Because it's very hard to control this car right now. But I just fucked myself. the draft. And Bravo is coming back. Oh wait, is he driving his uh No, nah, I thought he was driving his 2001 paint scheme. Too bad he doesn't have the fast white car scheme, that Lyco scheme. Yeah. Bravo, why are you mad? Why do you have to be mad? It's only game. If I can stick with the share draft, I can get right to his bump and we can start freight training, doing some DRS trains. I just gotta stay as close as possible to him and not get loose. If I get loose... No. No, 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 no. It's funny, if I, ever, if I can't find STP, I use Valvoline in my car. It works actually really well. Crusty. Get me up to him. Get me up to him. You're driving a white... Well, I mean, car is partly white. You're driving the fast white car. Come on, Bravo. Let's go. Oh, my God. See, that's the problem with the AI line here. Freaking... If it's always turn four for some reason. I gotta stay right on him. Come on. There we go. And I'm in the wall. There we go. Lost it. Lost the draft. Why do they hug the wall like that? They have, they have an open lane. They have all this room, and they choose to hug the wall. I'm fucking real. Like, you have to side draft crowd them just to be able to, like, stick with them. It's... It's frustrating. I'm curious. One second. See if that helps. Let's 
So I minimized OBS. It seems to be running a little bit quicker, I want to say, but I won't know until I hear the spotter audio. No, I think the game is running a little bit quicker. Okay. I just had to minimize OBS. Don't be blocking, bro. Oh yeah, the game's starting to speed up a bit. There we go. I just had to minimize OBS. Stream's still running, thankfully. But again, we're driving a crab wagon, so the car is just going to look slow. Share draft always does that, but I ain't complaining. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I mean, Dale Jr., he stole the freaking show, so let's just be honest. And the one thing I love about this game, soundtrack. Andrew WK, Avenged Sevenfold, Power Man 5000, Rancid, who I've seen twice in, in live in concert. No. Benson has some banger schemes in this area. Matt, you'd be surprised how many of them are actually in this game. Like, a lot of them. His MBL scheme for the All-Star Race, all of his Muppet schemes, the, uh... uh the, the, there's a red and black Valvoline scheme in here. Like, he's got, he's got the glitch shit. Honestly, if I get a contract off from MB2, whether it's the 01 or the 10, I'm a happy chappy. And now Johnny Bravo is officially an ally. Yep. Oh my god, Kansas freaking called to walnuts. I'll be damned. And Bobby's freaking started last in this, and... Wait.
me just fix the desktop audio, excuse the background noise. I can't help that. They wouldn't understand and they would not give a shit. Anyways. So. Of course, since this is the duels, we don't earn anything. So, let's get this going, guys. Daytona 500, 100 laps, NASCAR Thunder 04. Time to go. As Michael once said, America! What, what, what are we going to get today? What are we going to get today? SR-71 Blackbird. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful bomber. Oh, look who's starting next to us. Look who's starting next to us. Fucking McDouche. Hey, that's one of the goals we have to. They're ready for a hundred laps of sucking. I know Michael posted a video today where uh, Moves Motorsport burnt to the ground, so... Hey. How were they able to afford the time machine again? How were they able to build a freaking Gen 4 car? I don't know. But I had to race my way in, so... There's Steve Park, and now I'm a Steve Park fan, so... Of course, we got Jolly Green John and that douchebag who didn't give Michael an autograph in 2008 behind us. Great. I dare, I dare McDouche to get alongside me. I dare him. I fucking dare him. And everyone's leaving chat. Great. be a stressful two hours. Yeah, and he's gonna stay back there. Whether he wants to get by or not. It's fucking McDouche, what do you expect? I'm well aware, thank you, spotter. Who is Warburton?
Man, everybody fucking left, really? That sucks. That was not intentional. I was trying to get in line. Now if I see Jim I. Come on, Jim I. Sandals, we gotta get up to Jimmy. Everyone got spread out again.
Jimmy. There we go, we're hooking up. Michael, if you ever see us in the future, I hope you're happy because we're doing it. We're doing it. No, 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 no. Come on.
And there we go, he is now a 100 ally. Go get this fucking pack already. Hey, you're the one who went high side jet. Really? Johnny? Really? Come on. Really, Jimmy? Jeff Gordon Ram is behind me. Okay.
Then I start doing pits around like lap 40. Come on. Yep, we're getting in the lead lap cars now. Or and draft's gone again. We're only a quarter of the way done. I want to get this done so I can back and play Fall Four. Nice. I got my mic muted, but... Whatever. OBS was just weird that way. I think I'm going to come in at lap 30.
I could stretch it to 40, but I don't want to risk it. Come on, Jimmy. And now I'm losing positions, great. Alright, lap 30, I think I'm coming in. I think a two tire stop. You know what? Fuck you, Steve Harvey. Right sides, none. Done. And Jackman tripped. I am now locked down, but I don't care. You gonna go, Tony, or no? Oh, well, Bonnie's out.
Man, some of the fields are like two laps down. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Fucking hell. Stay off the wall. My foot's all fucked up. Damn it. I've got the lead anyway. Oh my god, they're gone. They're gone. Holy shit. <sighs> no, I might as well bring out competition yellow. I'm only going 170 in the goddamn corner. My god, this this car is a fucking crap wagon. the way the cookie crumbles. I lightly tap Jeff Gordon Ramsay and then my fuel cell blows. That's... That's unfortunate. Oh my god, that, that was... 343,000. Great. Well, people left the stream anyway, so if you watch this in the future, whatever. Alright, let's see the standings, let's see who won. Stats and info. What? What? Um... What? Uh... Kevin the page one the five hundred what? Okay, so apparently Kevin the page has won the fucking Daytona. <laughs> Holy shit! Let's Kevin the page is your points leader for CLR Racing. Jack Sprague in third? Okay, okay, hold up. Hold up. The, the Ashton Lewis... What? What? Did everything get inverted? I mean, I know we crashed out, but... Rookie of the... What? Well, at least Big Douche isn't the fucking Rookie of the Year points leader, so I mean...
Wow, we wreck out of the Daytona 500, and this is how the stream ends. Very anticlimactic. God, now, now I'm glad people fucking left the stream. Well, I guess that's, uh... I guess that's it for me. Stream died, we died. Dom DeLuise, 41st in points, after wrecking out. Causing the big one. I guess... I guess that's it. Shame. Well, if I ever get time to record the Rockingham race, look forward to that. If not, see you when I see you. I'm gonna go fucking be depressed.